Oh, what are we doing today? Oh, I don't know. Upgrading batteries? Didn't you upgrade them last year? Yep, sure did. So why the change? Oh, I don't know. Because you can only be on the water for like four hours in high winds. And unlike most people, we like to fish. When we're fishing, we're freaking fishing. And it's going to be sun up to sundown. And these 100 amp hour batteries just ain't going to do it for us. I thought they would help, and they did help a lot over the lead acid. But it still ain't enough. So we're going to upgrade to 200 amp hours. Hopefully that will give us 8 hours on full. All I know is if the trolling motor is coming up out of the water, you got about 4 hours, maybe. We like to fish a little more than that, especially when we're on trips. We didn't drive 6 hours just to sit in a hotel or a bar. It ain't vacation for us, it's business. So let's get these batteries out of here, see if the other one's gonna fit. They won't, we'll have to hack it up. Little thing I like to do, just so I keep everything in order and straight, I will zip tie all the negative wires together, just so it keeps it separate. It saves a lot of time than trying to track the wires back. We got the, this battery on hooks, we're gonna see what we can do. Should be able to take this battery out. We have to remove the tray. That out of there. Let's see if that can get it. And that's gonna be a no. Too wide. Which I knew was gonna be the issue. Because they make these handy things called tape measures. So I think what I'm going to do is probably cut these lips out. I think there's a support, I don't know if you can see it. There's a support down there so I don't want to cut down into that. But I don't think I'll have to cut that much. I'll measure the height of the battery where them lips are. Cut it from there. The lip is 10 but I'll probably go 9 and a quarter. Battery kind of pushes out right there. So nine and a quarter. Basically center of this fucking hole. We have to get cut out. Alrighty. See how that's gonna go. Here goes nothing. You get a little pain ass to get in here. That should work. Gonna have to clean that up better, but make sure the battery fits first. Like a glove, boys. Oh, we're gonna be close up there. We're gonna be close up there. I can't go no lower. Might have to. Uh, we're going to have to router this probably where the terminals are going to go. They might be touching. Or we do it the wrong way, which will be the right way, and just uh, put that piece of rubber down where this touches it. God damn it. Just a f tad short Let's see what it actually is. On here. Oh, it's closing I don't know if it's touching but you always use the old play-doh trick to see if it's actually touching which it might not be oh that's gonna be a problem uh, so, yeah, I don't really want that sticking up. It doesn't catch on all the rods. So what we might do, move this, move this. Just put your finger in there to grab it. Custom. They pay extra for that kind of stuff. Well, boys, we got it done. Wasn't too bad. Biggest problem was probably cutting that little center section out. Can't really get no tools in there. But we got it done. It looked pretty good. I mean, it's going to be better for sure. It's double my capacity. So, trolling motor coming out of the water will get maybe six hours now. Hopefully eight, but time will tell. I did end up rewiring a few of the leads. I do need to rewire all the way to the trolling motor, but I'm lazy. So, I ended up mounting the breaker in between. I couldn't put it on top. 
because I'm running into clearance issues with the lid. Everything else it looks all right. Cleaned up pretty good. On the lid, I ended up just gluing a piece of foam to it just so the terminals don't hit. There ain't much material here to really router out, so, and I didn't want to build it up. She fits, it's good. I did have to remove this just to be able to open this. I'll end up doing something there. Nah, no, probably not. I'm happy with it and it'll work better on the water. So that's all that really matters. On to the next project, which is all that wiring up there. Nothing like upgrading batteries that you just upgraded last year. I mean, is it factory? Shit, it's better than factory. It's custom, baby. But it is nice when it's all done. <laughs> 